Hey all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I want to welcome you. This is the Dr. Shabai Show. And on this show, we talk about modern women, we talk about relationships, we talk about how feminism failed society, and then we also talk about what's going on in the news. Um, but today, I want to take some time to talk about Black China. Black China has recently came out, and she has said that she is a born-again Christian. And so some people think that she's just trying to rebrand her image, you know, and to get a different perception of her, because I do know that she has some businesses in the works. So Black China started her rebirth when she got baptized back in May. Um, that's around her birthday. And then last week, she took out her fillers and she put up a picture up on Instagram and just saying that she is going through a uh, rebirth and that she's reborn Christian and a born again virgin as well. Now, my question is, is it a rebranding? Or is she really changing into a new person trying to live a new life? I want to show this video that she did, um, and then we're going to come back and talk about it. So, but before we get started, please, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Be referenced as Black China, or are you Angela White? Angela White. You are Angela White. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. So why are you choosing that name? Um, well, I was it was given to me by birth. Um, but mostly just for me it's like getting back to myself. Because, you know, being in the entertainment like Phil, everybody always calls me like, like, hey, black China, China, China. Nobody never really calls me Angela. So sometimes I would kinda like forget like who I am because it's always like about the brand, 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 but not about the person. Yeah. So she knows exactly what branding is. She's talked about it. She said it. This is all about a rebranding of herself. Now, I'm not saying that she's not for real about it, but she knows what branding is. Yeah. So, okay. well, you've gone through some major life changes in recent weeks. Yes. You've been very public about your breast reduction, mm -hmm. your backside reduced, and getting your fillers dissolved. Yes. Why did you choose to do it so publicly? It just came to me. It came from God. Honestly, when I posted, I didn't even think that it was going to be as big as it was. And then by me. Okay, so right here is where my radar goes up. Because if you know about branding, you know that any type of publicity is good publicity, even if it's bad. So I don't believe her when she says, I didn't think that it was going to get as much attention. I just believe that that is a flat out lie. Hey, at this moment, I'm not, I'm not believing that this is 100% real. I don't. Seeing that, it made me feel like, wow, like really comfortable to even go back on the internet because I kind of like stopped posting as much as I used to. Um, but now like everybody has been supporting it. So I'm like, okay, this gives me like the carriage to keep going and, and see how far I can go. So it makes me feel really good. I'm glad I did do it. You are receiving overwhelming support. Yeah, I didn't even, I, yeah, it just came to me. I didn't even think it was going to be as big as it, as it was yeah. or is. Yeah. Everyone's really proud of you. Yeah, thank you. So you said it came from God. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. I, I want to know about the work we're not seeing because I know you had to do a lot of internal work as well. Yes, and continuing to also. So on my birthday, I got I got baptized on my birthday. So I was reborn on my birthday, and that was May 11th of 2022. So from there, I was like, you know, just start taking the steps that I knew, which was more of the truth. You know, like what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. So that's kind of like how I've been stepping, going to church. Um, you can't do it by yourself. So I do want to commend her for changing her life or trying to attempt to change her life. Because for someone who lived a certain lifestyle, to go and turn it around and to put God at the head is very, very difficult. But it's possible. And so I do want to commend her for that. And the other thing is, however, most people who do do that, they do it in private. They don't do it publicly. So that is one thing that I am a little concerned with. But I do believe that this part is genuine. 
You can, but it's, it's better when you have like your church family, your prayer warriors. Because there's some days where you you might feel like, okay, this is like too much for me. We need to call back. I got to call back up. Like I need the extra prayers today. Yeah. So. And what do you yeah. mean this is too much for me? Um, Just like life in general. Sometimes it can c become like overwhelming, especially like when you're in the spotlight and they just keep me grounded. God keeps me grounded and they keep me grounded too as, as far as, as far as like human wise, yeah. you have like your spiritual, but then you have human form too. So both of those com combined is um, helping me get through the things that I need to get through and get back to myself. Right. Mm -hmm. When the world is chaotic, my faith is steady. Yes. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I understand. Mm -hmm. So I want to switch gears a bit. Okay. You also deactivated your OnlyFans account. Mm -hmm. And I hear that was the source of a lot of your money. And I want to just clear this up right now because there is a $239 million discrepancy right now going on. I see that. You have. So April 2022, you said you made $1 million from it in 2021. But now I'm seeing reports that are saying $240 million. What's What's the actual number? The actual number, it was close to two million within a two, wait, within a two year span. Two so I opened it in 2020. So right when the pandemic had hit, I had opened it because I was like, oh my gosh, like what's about to happen? And I had just recently did a TV show called Only Cams where I produced it and um, filmed on it just a little bit. So it kind of like gave me the lead way to kind of doing it because it was something that I didn't want to do at first. But at the time I had so many lawsuits and so many things that I was dealing with. Aside from that, I'm like, I got to figure out how can I like continue to have like my house, take care of my kids, do everything I need to do. So that's why I started the OnlyFans. But I definitely, let's clear this up. I definitely did not make 240 million. Okay. I definitely did it. She did not make 240 not. million, you guys. I, I um, did not. So it, I know a major part of that, as you said, was mm -hmm. to provide for your kids and kind of keep up that standard of living that they're accustomed to. Yes. How do you plan on doing that going forward? I'm letting faith lead me, honestly. And it's been, it's been, it's been really good. Yeah. Like I'm not even worrying about like where is like my next deal or where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? I'm just going to put my right foot in front of my left and my left foot in front of my right and keep it pushing. I totally understand. Yeah. That. I do. Yeah. Oh, but Angela, what happened? Mm -hmm. What really happened to, to make you go through such a radical change? Um, nothing really happened. I just, like I said, like I just started working out working out sobriety and like my bible that's it those are the three things that i have been have been sticking with for the past seven months and just over that time it has shown me like really like okay like who are you like what is it that you want to do what's the example that you want to set like how are you feeling like is this really you yeah. you know because we put on like hair and makeup uh designer clothes to like cover up something you know and i want to put like my insecurities aside and really step into like the light, like my own light. You are you without <laughs> all of that, trust yeah. me. And, and So I cut the video off here um, because it, it's like 24, 25 minutes long, but then she goes into how she was in college and how she became a stripper while in college and then how she became a video um, vixen and then how she met her, her children's father. Um, so I wanted to talk about the beginning because that's when she talks about what made her start her transformation in becoming um, a born again Christian. And so that's the part that I really want to focus on. Is it rebirth or rebranding? I really can't say. Um, but the thing that I do want to acknowledge is I think that it's wonderful that she started this process. And I hope that it is real. I hope it is genuine and I hope young girls see that you can make a change. But the only thing I, I wish is that she could have done it when, you know, sooner or much, much sooner in her life. Um, the other part of it is she still is going to hold on to Black China. Like if you watch the full video, I put it 
the link in the description box she says that she's gonna hold on to black china because it's still a part of her and she's gonna use it when she's out in public and in the public eye but then at home she's gonna be angela the one part that i'm concerned with is that anyone who is you know a new christian or someone who is new in their faith or just got baptized and they've never grew up in the church or whatever one of the things they tell you is that you can't live between two worlds, you know, especially as a new Christian, because you are so new to it that you are going to have these times where you're fighting between the two worlds. And so I don't know how she's going to navigate that. That's my only concern. The other concern I have is that she did this after she made the money. The older a woman gets, you know, the more she has to not be the same woman she was in her 20s because she can't do exactly the same thing. And so I wish she could have done it like early on because we have a, a generation of young women who look up to China and people like her. They look up to a woman that exposes her body and they make a lot of money. And this has had an effect on society. Everybody want to say that it's about women empowerment and this and the other because they are empowering their body. Let's just be honest and clear. A woman who strips is not empowering anything or anybody. It is not. Because I don't want young women to say, oh, I can do whatever I want to when I'm young, in my 20s, and my 30s, or whatever. And then once I get older, I'm going to go ahead and do what's right. No, that's not the message that we want to send. So I guess in conclusion, what is the truth? Is Black China just rebranding or is she truly trying to rebirth as a Christian? To be honest, I really, really, really do not know. I hope that this is real. I hope that it's not just for um, making sales and to change her perception just for her career. Um, I'm hoping that this is really real. She will be able to transform and influence other young women out there who may be living the same lifestyle that she had. So that's my video to for today. I would love to hear your comments. And thank you so much for watching my video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.